Hello everyone. Hi. Today we asked some questions. Um, one of the questions was which of the following are aromatic? And options were these. And some pe most of the people answered all of the above. Some people answered C and D. So look at if you look at this, these are all planar molecules which have extended conjugation. So uh, initial conditions of Huckel rule are done but uh, according to Huckel rule the number of pi electrons should be 4n plus 2 with n equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 so some of these have 4n plus 2 like in this case two electrons in the ring in this case four which is not essentially following the Huckel rule but let's have a closer look on these and see that which of these are aromatic, which are not, which are anti-aromatic. So if you look at the first one, which is a tricyclic ring with double bond and an, and an exocyclic ring, which is triophylvene, and what we notice is it this molecule has dipole moment. Electrons tend to shift towards the end, making this cation and anion pair, which is dipole. This process of electron shifting because of the creation of resonance it creates it is called as dipolar resonance and this part of the molecule becomes aromatic with two pi electrons and that is why the full molecule is aromatic because of dipolar resonance. If you look at fulvene what we see is essentially similar exocyclic bond and in this case bond will be shifted towards inward to form a cyclopentadienyl anion which has six pi electron electrons and this is aromatic because of Huckel rules um, criteria fulfilled and it's aromatic. Now if you look at the other molecule which is D and hepta fulvene what we see is there is exocyclic bond this might shift towards this side and leading to uh, a dipole which creates dipolar resonance forming this ring with six pi electrons and the other rings other ring which is tropelium cation kind of uh, group which is which also has six pi electron and this is how this full molecule becomes aromatic if we look at salicine, what we see is the similar thing that electrons will move towards one end and there will be deficiency, so negative charge and the positive charge. This becomes, this part becomes uh, a ring with six pi electrons, the other, other part remains with two pi electrons. Both follow Huckel's rule of aromaticity and these are aromatic. So the answer to the question was all of the above. I'm very happy that most of you found the correct answer. Now moving towards the next section, uh, we have some examples. One example of, of dipolar resonance would be this one in which electrons would be transferred towards this and making this pentad Pen, uh, cyclopentadiene ring with negative charge with six pi electrons and here it will be more or less like tropelium cation which has six pi electrons making it uh, stable and moving ahead I selected some of the charged system and if you look at this charge system it has two pi electrons and planar with said several resonating structures can be drawn this is aromatic uh, this has four pi electron this is anti-aromatic this has two pi electron and electrons and several resonating structures can be drawn so this would be aromatic this with six pi electrons two from here two from here two from the double bond and that's how it has six pi electron it's also aromatic this only has four pi electron this is gonna be anti-aromatic this has six pi electron two 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 six pi electron this is gonna be aromatic this with six eight ten pi electrons this is aromatic this is tropelium cation which with six pi electrons this is aromatic this has eight pi electron this is gonna be anti-aromatic and this one is gonna be 
uh, with six pi electron this is aromatic this is how we could to draw conclusions about aromaticity and anti-aromaticity uh, knowing that if the structure is remains planar or not moving to the next question that we ask that which of the following are true is true about following molecule so this one we talked about and this is basically aromatic with two pi electron this is with four pi electrons anti-aromatic this molecule looks like an anti-aromatic but we have to see if this is planar this molecule looks like that this is uh, aromatic but we have to see whether it is planar or not so if we look at this molecule uh, molecule c which is cyclo octa tetraene it remains more stable in its tough form the conjugation molecule no longer remains aromatic and it becomes uh, non-aromatic now if we look at anoline, this looks like aromatic but there are flag host uh, hydrogens which are essentially very close to each other. This may, these hydrogens repel each other and some of these structures such as twist, port and hard forms are more stable compared to the planar form and that is why planarity gets lost and this molecule no longer remains aromatic. So if we look at, look back to our question, this and this will be non-aromatic because of the loss without with the loss in aromaticity or loss in planarity and this became this remains anti-aromatic this becomes aromatic that is why the answer c is correct where a is aromatic b is anti-aromatic and c and d are non-aromatic so if we look at the next question that we asked this is in fullerene c60 molecule which rings are aromatic and which are non-aromatic or anti-aromatic so so based on the ab initio studies that are performed on this molecule it was found that six membered rings are are aromatic and five membered rings are anti-aromatic so the answer would be five membered rings are anti-aromatic but six membered rings are aromatic so thank you so much for your answers questions comments suggestions likes etc i would be uh, moving towards hardcore organic chemistry with re with reagents oxidation reduction pericyclic reactions photochemistry etc all these topics will be covered and more interesting problems will be brought i would be happy if you would uh, like share and subscribe this channel that i have thank you so much keep interacting so much stay tuned